In this video I'm going to show you how to remove a capacitor and if you're going to be repairing your own television you're going to need a few items here. You're going to need some solder probably not this amount. You're going to need a solder and iron. You can get one for like five bucks at Walmart. A toothpick and I'll show you what the toothpick does after I show you how to remove the capacitor. Now you need to locate your capacitor. You see there's this capacitor here and on the back side there's the capacitor. Now when I remove a capacitor from a board I'm heating up one leg from the board and then I'll rock it and I'll remove the iron and I'll go to the other leg and then I'll rock that one and I let it cool and I just work it out. As I demonstrate this capacitor here I'm going to be pulling in that direction when I put the soldering iron on it. And you can see the leg has gone down. And now in the top leg I'm going to be pushing my finger in the towards the ground And then one more time, and now the capacitor is out. Now what the toothpick does, if you have a hard time putting the capacitor back in, close your hole, it's filled back up. What you're going to do is, you're going to heat the soldering iron to this hole here, and then you're going to insert the toothpick. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to show you. Really cheap trick. And now your hole is wide. We'll do that with the second one on the top. Now to put the capacitor in, a new one. You need to make sure that you know the orientation of the capacitor. You see this little white dot? Sometimes they have them in black dot. Sometimes it's just a half moon. But you need to make sure. These capacitors are similar to batteries. You do have a positive and a negative. Most times positive, if not all the times positive. For electrolytic capacitors, that's what this is. The longer leg is positive. And your negative side, which has got this stripe here, it's going to have the shorter leg. So, we're going to insert it into this new hole. I've already got solder on this. I'll get a fresh one. Make sure it's pressed down. I always put my finger like that, uh, keep it pressed down. And soldering is going to be fairly simple. From here, this is all you gotta do. You touch one lead, and you're going to do this. And that's a good solder joint. You move to the other side. And you kind of want to make them look like Hershey's Kisses. You don't want to make them oversized Hershey's Kisses. But you want to make them big. And you want to make them have a uniform color for the solder. You don't want it half blotch or nothing. Nice roundness. And when you get done with soldering that capacitor, take your wire cutter or even a fingernail clipper will work. And you're going to cut this leg off right here at the top of this heel of the solder. On both sides. That way this is not touching your case on your TV. And that is how you remove and solder a new capacitor on your power board. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.